If you're taking the SAT next week, can you solve this SAT math question? If x is greater than 0, what is one possible solution to the equation above? First, let's distribute x cubed to x squared minus 5. So, x cubed times x squared is x to the power of 5. 3 plus 2 is 5, and we can do this because we have the same base of x. Then, x cubed times negative 5 is just negative 5x cubed. We're also going to add 4x to both sides of the equation. This will result in also having 4x on the left side of the equation and 0 on the right side of the equation. Now, we're going to factor x from the left side of the equation to end up with x times the expression x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 4. Let's factor the expression in the parentheses by finding two numbers that add to negative 5 and multiply to 4. Those two numbers are negative 4 and negative 1. Therefore, we can factor the expression as x squared minus 4 and x squared minus 1. We're using these x squareds because the original expression has x to the power of 4, x squared, and then no x. Notice that x squared minus 4 and x squared minus 1 are differences of squares. So, we can factor x squared minus 4 as x minus 2 and x plus 2. We can also factor x squared minus 1 as x minus 1 and x plus 1. To find the solutions to the equation, we just have to set the factors equal to 0. But, we don't have to do that for every factor in this situation. For example, if we set x equal to 0, we can see that 0 is a possible solution. But, we're looking for a solution that's greater than 0. And, 0 is not greater than 0. Therefore, we're going to ignore x. We can also ignore x plus 2 and x plus 1 because they will result in negative solutions that are not greater than 0. Lastly, we can set x minus 2 or x minus 1 equal to 0 and then solve for x. If we set x minus 2 equal to 0 and then add 2 to both sides of the equation, we end up saying that 2 is a possible solution that's greater than 0. And, if we also set x minus 1 equal to 0 and add 1 to both sides of the equation, 1 is another possible solution that's greater than 0. So, you can choose 2 or 1 as your answer.